Hey everybody, welcome back to Land and Space Program. This is episode number seven. And me, I'm just going and melting some ender pearls. We're gonna need them for today's build. You see, we've been plagued by iron this entire build. I mean, just come here and take a look. There's my iron. There's my gold. And I've been using tin and copper like crazy. We still got tons of it. I've been running as sparingly on iron as I possibly can. So, today we're going to fix it. Now, our goal for today is going to be to uh, build a quarry system. And in order to do that, we're going to need to make some tesseracts, which is what I'm doing here. We'll also need a power system in order to make it go. And that's what this over here is for. This is a portable tank which is full of uh, biofuel. It's made by these blocks here, the bioreactors. You fill them up with an amount of uh, saplings or seeds or similar type items. You know, carrots are good too because you, anything you can plant is something that will go in here, including, you know, berry bushes because you can plant it planting on dirt's just fine. As long as it's not from biomes of plenty. These things do not like biomes of plenty. Anyway, it generates this stuff right here and it actually generates that amount exactly when you fill it up completely. That is, all nine here and all nine here, full stacks each. This stuff uh, burns, I'd say, about 10 times, no, 20 times longer than a uh, piece of charcoal. So this stuff lasts pretty good. And that's what we're going to need if we want our quarry to run well as, you know, to run for a nice long time. So, let's head on over to the build site. Today's build will be on the opposite side of the fountain as our uh, spawn generator. Now, because they're both item making type things, or item extracting type things, you know, similar type stuff. So it makes sense to put them on opposite sides. I've gone ahead and I've already built up the power system at the bottom. Well, you know, not entirely, but you know, just, you know, since it's stuff we've already covered before. There we go. We've got our tesseracts got our energy coil. Oh, and we will also need to upgrade this guy. There we go. Maximum energy storage. Oh, and while we're at it, we'll go ahead and want to grab a few things from here. Let's see here. Oh, we will definitely need a fluid conduit, some power. Uh, we're not going to need the items quite yet, so we'll leave them out for now. All right, let's get to it. All right, I went ahead and I put in a nice underground area. And if we look at our wrench, we see I also went ahead and put in a bunch of facades. You can see the cave system. Nice and hidden though. Anyway, first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put in our reservoir. Because it's like a, we're gonna be using entirely compression dynamos for this. Now, normally I do like having a modular power supply. The thing is, with uh, running a quarry, you need to have so much, you know, quarry, so much power in your quarry that, honestly, you know, charcoal is just not going to cut it, and neither is sugar, and those are your main renewables for the other ones. So, yeah, compression dynamo it is. First things first, though, let's go ahead and put in the water. Water's part of it. Woo! Let's hear it for preparation, huh? This is much faster than usual. Uh-oh. Okay, this one's just a little bit harder because I ended up making this in the middle of a cave. There we go. Almost. Excellent. Now then, let's go ahead and get this set up. I want it to extract. And you know what? While we're at it, let's go ahead and set you to extract as well. And now we'll go ahead and put in our water buckets. Infinite water source. Just what, it, what we ordered. Well, at least it's what I ordered. All right, let's get rid of this extra one over here. 
Now, you're going to notice that I put in five sides. That's because I want expansion room. But for now, we're only going to do uh, one of these. Because, quite frankly, being perfectly honest, I cannot create enough fuel, you know, just by myself for these. So we're going to go ahead and just leave ourselves expansion room for once we've got a better fuel generating some a fuel generating station. Sweet. Now everything is nice and hidden and looking smart and good. Now, the next thing we're going to want is to grab some pressurized fluid conduit so that we can uh, we can get our fluids into these guys. Here, I hope I got enough. Well, if I don't, I've got enough for those, and those are the most important ones for now. Uh, let's see, do I need fluid for anything else? Uh, no. No, no, I didn't. So I'll just go ahead and put them down. If, not, if I just, if I don't have enough, then I won't uh, worry about it until... You know, I'll put that in off-screen. No, no, no. We got enough. We got plenty. I was worried for nothing. Sweet. Alright. So, now we got ourselves power. Which we can go and put in here. 512 buckets. Yeah, that should keep us going for a while. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and put in the power. I went ahead and I put this entirely around. Uh, but basically, so because we're going to need this for the uh, top level. So, yeah. Uh, this part's going to be a little bit harder than the previous one. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, we got that. Yeah, stuff to spare. Now then, let's go ahead and put in one of our Tesseracts right here. And what Tesseracts do? Uh, also, let me go ahead and sleep too while I'm at it. Yeah. So basically, what Tesseracts do is they teleport things. They teleport items, they teleport liquids, and they teleport power. Which is what we're going to be using that guy for. I'm going to go ahead and have this guy right here and he'll be storing the power so that uh, like so and then oops. Yeah, I need to get rid of you like so excellent now then you Okay, 2,000 is good enough for us. Uh, let's see here. You're going to be taking from the front, from the rear. Yeah, that... Uh, wait, wait, oh. Um, ah, yes. Why are you not connected? Oh, I put its output. No, no. Okay, sorry. It's the top that's going to be outputting. And the others will be go ahead and inputting. Yes. And we'll just go ahead and leave that room there for expansion so we can put another tank down. Sweet. Now, um, yeah, let's go ahead and just turn it on and get that energy going. Filling up with power. By the way, yes, that's 50 million RF. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> oh, hello. By the way, I got a new rapier. It works great. All right. So this guy is currently not sending because he doesn't have anyone to send to. Well, we go ahead and uh, and set him up later. For now, though, what we're going to want to do is start on building the building up here. I'm thinking for this, we'll go ahead and use more of a cross style pattern. You know, something a little bit you know decorative. We'll want these guys. Oh, we don't need him. 
We are gonna want you. And, uh, oh, your ferals. Ah, the chests. Oh man, we're gonna need all of it. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and put in what we got right now. First things we gotta do is this guy can both send power and receive items. So, we're gonna wanna go ahead and set up a processing station. Now, I think the best place to put up the uh, processing station is going to be in this... Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we can deal with that. Yeah, it's going to be in this general area. So, let's go ahead and put out a little bit of planning. Uh, let's see here. We want the end of the building. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and set out a quick outline of the building, and then I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. I'm back! So yeah, I just got to go ahead and plan this out a little bit more. I am definitely going to have to do some landscaping here. I think I'm going to have to take, get rid of this lake entirely. Because I want to have some view, nice viewing windows in the corners here. But, that will happen in just a bit. For now, let's go ahead and set up the ending of our, our building's plan. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have some chests here. These chests are going to be overflow chests. They catch any items that are not caught by the rest of the system. And here, in this side of the building, we're going to have a pulverizer and furnace combination. And what's going to happen here is... Wait a minute... Ooh, you know what? I think this might actually go better in the opposite way. Yeah, let me just go ahead and pick these guys back up. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have pulverizers here. And redstone furnaces here. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Because see, the items are going to come out in this direction. Hmm. While we're at it, you know, we're probably going to want some kind of catch. Yeah. Let me see. Ah, of course. Oh, uh. Okay, yeah, that works. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have items come out of here and uh, they're going to go into the chest if it's of course possible for them to. So let's go ahead and get some facades set up. And I might need one of these. Cool. Uh, yeah, so actually first let's just go ahead and just start with the item conduits. That might be even better. Oh, 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 oh. There. Uh oh, wait a minute. Uh oh, 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 what do you mean? Sending none, receiving all. No, 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 this is not good. What do you mean you cannot connect? Hmm. Alright then. We're going to need to use an alternative plan, apparently. Be right back once I've formulated one. Alright, we're back. We've got some ender chests. This will actually work out better, because last time I used a quarry, it had some problems strictly transmitting into a tesseract anyway. So let's just go ahead and mark these guys up. I'd like to go ahead and use a little bit of light blue, a little bit of light gray, and for this we'll just go ahead and use red for the quarry. Uh, you'll see why in just a bit. Uh, let's see, this particular one can just go back and holding for now. Yes. All right, so here's the plan. We go ahead, fall down into the cave yet again, and let's go ahead and get you out of the way. And let's go ahead and put you back up. I should have put this aside. Okay, so we're gonna have our ender chest here. Let me get out of the cave again. I keep falling in. I am definitely gonna have to do something about this cave. Okay, now we've got our inner chest, and we're gonna want plenty of these guys. Oh, and some facades. There. Uh, 
there's the other facade. Good. Now, yeah. this guy. Items here. No, oh, not there. And you'll have to wait. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna want them here. Now, what this guy here is going to do is he is going to be the input for the pulverizers. Hmm, which means we probably actually don't want him coming out of there now that I think about it. Can I get you? Come on. Normally I wouldn't do this for other blocks, but man, these things are like, they cost a lot. Back tonight already. Wow. Okay. Hold on a second. All right. Let's get try this again. Now then, we know here that this guy, he's going to be coming out and he's going to be going into these two guys. Uh, yeah. And they will need to be feed, fed in from under because there's going to be a door right behind this guy. So, yeah, we're going to know, we know that that's going to be a thing. Let's go ahead and set you up. Extract. Perfect. And you guys. You will accept the bottom. And you're going to want to output to the right. And you will want to output to the left. And these others can go away. Very good. And then it'll go ahead and burn and eight these things. And they will go ahead and output to the bottom. Because see, we can go ahead and put these wires next to each other and have them not connect is what we're going to want. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and pick you up a little bit. Yes. Okay. So, we know we're going to want another guy here, and we don't want him to connect with that guy. Like so. Oh, well, that, that helps. And we're going to want the same thing here. And no connection there. Excellent. So, what's going to happen is this guy. Okay, let's go ahead. Just coming out here. And, uh, yeah, we're, not, we're also going to not connect here. I didn't need to do that. Not a problem. So I'm going to come out here, which will give us two connections to this chest. This will actually be important in a bit. Ah, uh, don't do that to me. There we go. Now, uh, I need to go and get another item from this chest. What we're going to do is we're going to take these basic item filters. And we're going to go ahead and uh, there's actually a better one here, but uh, yeah, that, that better one, I do not have the uh, necessary infrastructure in which to support it. Not a problem. What we can do is we can just go ahead and put in two of these guys. Same thing. Insert. Wait, what happened to my thing? Oh, stop doing that. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put you to insert. 
I'm gonna put another one of you guys in. Now this right here means whitelisting. We're gonna wanna go ahead and make this guy nice and high priority as well while we're at it. And what this chest is gonna do is he's gonna hold all the ores that we can macerate, or in this case, pulverize. And then they'll go ahead and they'll pulverize up, and they'll come back down into these guys, and he will set it like so. Are you in out? Why are you in out? Insert. There we go. And likewise, we'll go ahead and uh, this guy over here will also need Oh, I need better. Going like this. Now they still need to connect around though, that's the thing. So yeah. Oh. And we can just go ahead and break the lines here. And here. There we go, connected. Eh, just for good measure. Just for symmetry. There. Broken connection. Perfect. Now all we gotta do is put some ores in. I gotta go and empty my bag here a bit. I don't need power anymore. I'm not gonna need fluids. Oh, uh, let's just go ahead and empty a little bit of these guys. Oh yeah, what the heck. I'll just get rid of all the wool for now. I'll put it back in later. Yeah, that should give us enough room in our inventory. So, let's go ahead and pull out our miner's backpack. Yes, there we go. These are some ores that I went ahead and got ahead of time. So, I go ahead and I like so, I can go ahead and just start putting these guys in. So, for you, we'll just go ahead and start off simple uh, copper, silver, gold, platinum, also called the shiny ore. Uh, let's just go ahead and put in 10 too while we're at it. And then this side will send uh, let's go for iron Paris where's lead? Ah, lead. We gotta get some lead. And yeah, we are gonna have some yellow right and some uh, aluminum. Those should be all your our main ten ores. Yellowite, I think, I'm pretty sure Yellowite shares an ore dictionary with Uranium, so that should also grab a Uranium too while we're at it. But if it's not, then it'll just get stored normally, like everything else, and, and we can always just grind it later. Cool, so let me go ahead and get a bite to eat here, and we'll go ahead on with the next part of our thing. Alright, so, oh, while I'm at it, you know what, I don't want these guys taking it. So, I'm going to put the ores back in. There we go. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So, got that set up. Seeing those, as soon as you walk in the door, there'll be a wall behind them. And then we can go ahead and put the uh, item conduits up towards the next part of our, of our build. Whew. All right, I'm back, everybody. Let this be a lesson. Be careful when building on top of a cave. All right, so I went ahead and I put in the lines to these walls here and to the chests. And I gave these chests a negative priority. So um, basically, it's always going to go into that chest if it's one of those things we can grind up. And if it's not, well, then it's going to go into these guys. Ta-da! But while we're at it, let's just go ahead and build this up a bit. Excellent. So, all the stuff that we get from the, uh, from the uh, quarry, it'll be ground up, and then it'll be put in here, or if it's something, you know, just regular, it'll just go in here directly. Which leads us to one last thing, now that I think about it. We're going to want to, uh, there are some things in here we're just not going to want to store. I should go ahead and set something for 
that up too now that I'm thinking about it. Let me go ahead and get an item that I'll need. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I went and grabbed the item we need. The item we need is a pretty simple one. It's called the Nullifier. All it does is it makes things, whatever gets put into it, not be that thing anymore. In this case, you know, basically, basically it's just, it utterly destroys said item. So we're going to go ahead and insert here, and we're going to, of course, use a whitelist. Whitelist is going to have dirt, it's going to have gravel, it's going to have cobblestone, as well as the other, you know, main things. Flint, and also this raw marble stuff, because I don't really use it, and it's just going to take up space if we don't. We'll give it a nice high priority so that anything that here is whitelisted will get in and will disappear for forever. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. Well, folks, that's our setup. Or all we have to do now is just pretty up the building. Sweet. Let's go. I'll go ahead and put in the main walls. I'm pretty sure you already know what they're going to be. And then I'll be right back. All right. Take a look. Looking sweet. This little part right here, but that's easy enough to fix. Even better. And I figured out what little decorative, what decorative flourish I want to use. I'm going to put in the roof arch. Ah, just look at it. Nice and pretty. Let's see how it is for spawns. Oh, good. Nothing's going to spawn in here either. That's always a plus. Now then. Oh, I can give you a guess. Where did you get in here? Well, you know what? Hey, no problem. That just means we know it's working. Speaking of which, why don't we give it a quick little test? I've still got uh, this thing over here set up. Let's go ahead and grab our miner's backpack and get our stuff out of it again. And we'll start putting our stuff in here. Sure, we can put some dirt in there. Uh, I must have forgotten to set it to a extract. No problem. That's easy enough to fix. Let's just go ahead and get some other stuff in there to test. Some marble, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So, let me just go ahead and... There we go. I know what it is. <laughs> You're set to extract, not insert. Yes, let's go ahead and repair that. And we have power, which means we have maceration. Sweet. Oh, I almost forgot to, uh... Yeah, me out. Okay, good. Let me go ahead and put everything back. All right, everything is back. Everything is macerating. Let's see where it goes to, shall we? Huh. Oh, okay. So apparently I need to go ahead and set up these barrels before it's gonna put anything in them. That's actually not a bad thing. Why don't I go and set that up now? Hey everyone, I figured out what the real problem was. I gotta go and I gotta set all these to be insert. Ah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Just how we want it to be. Okay, only one last thing to do with this building and then we go on and we get our treasure. We need to make sure that this thing is is uh, chunk loaded at all times, so here's the chunk boundary. Pop down four spot loaders. That will keep this building loaded, so it will continue to process our ores 
even as the quarry mines them. So, now that we've gotten all this done finally, let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. The part you've been waiting for. The quarry. Yes. Alright, let's go and do this thing. I went ahead and set up a site for our quarry, and our first quarry is going to be right out here in the middle of the ocean. That's right. Let me just head on over to it. Now, the reason we want to put this out in the ocean is twofold. One, all that water is going to go ahead and turn any lava in the quarry into obsidian. And the second thing is that since it's a deep ocean, it's going to get to diamonds a lot faster. And that's pretty nice for our first quarry. Now, to set up a quarry, first thing we're going to need is we're going to need landmarks. So, let's just go ahead and... Uh-oh. Hmm, I did not think this went through. Not a problem. I guess that's fast done. There we go. We're on. Landmark. We have to go up to all these corners and put one there. All right, we got our landmark set up. Bing! Turns into a nice red, uh, to a nice red square. It's gonna cover the uh, whole expanse of this. This is 64 by 64. Got some nice warning lights here so nobody gets caught in the undertow because there's like a big gaping hole in the middle of the ocean. And go ahead and get our quarry like so. Done. We'll keep 17 chunks loaded because this is perfectly on the chunk boundary. Now then, what we're going to want here, we're going to want two things. First of all, we're going to want our ender chest here to accept items from the quarry. We're going to want our tesseract. We're going to want it here. We're going to want this guy. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I never configured the other one now, did I? I want him receiving energy on Landon's quarry. Before I hook this guy up, I'm going to run back real quick and make sure the other guy's sending. Alright, I'm back. We are transmitting power. So, hook our ender. Whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, that is a new animation. Interesting. Well, I think this goes to show that our uh, quarry is in fact building. Look at it go. <laughs> that's actually kind of amusing. That's a new. That's a that's a, that's a new thing. It used to be it just it just had a little robot that built it all. Okay, we're almost ready. There's the arm. It's a little laser. And there's it going. And nice and fast too. Alright, let's go ahead and chunk load this guy. And uh... We're done here. Automatic resources. I'll see you back at the base. Ah, uh, look at it. Power is going in. Items are coming out. And now it's just a matter. Well, they even got some smooth sandstone. I must have dropped that in there somehow. So yeah, now it's just a matter. 
sitting back and waiting for the items. Well, this has been Episode 7 of Land and Space Program. I hope you all enjoyed the build, and I hope you all enjoyed watching. Thanks. Catch you next episode.